What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Fan one here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beasts number 100 Bumblebee. Uh, correction, off-road Bumblebee, off-road Bumblebee. So let's pull, we'll pull him off to the side here and then we'll take a look at the packaging real fast. So move this dude off to the side and move all his other stuff off to the side and we're going to take a look at the packaging. So in terms of the packaging here, let's scooch this out just enough. Um, so in terms of the packaging here, you, obviously it's the nice deluxe packaging. Unfortunately, I'm really, I'm, I'm really annoyed here about this. And this is a, this is a simple thing that I really, it really just bugs, bugs me. I don't know if it bugs anybody else, but mm, 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 mm. I love the fact that I could just reach right on in there and touch that figure all up in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, not a massive fan of that. But definitely got a nice image of Bumblebee for Rise of the Beast going on here. However, those eyes are definitely incorrect. Uh, they have his eyes green here. They are not green in the movie. Um, they're that color. Um, and that color is like blue. Here, they're just straight up green. Here, they're like slightly blue. So, on the back here, that definitely shows the figure. Um, however, the back here shows the, hilar the figure hilariously mispainted. Because this thing has way more detail than this shows. This this back packaging is just a CG render. This is this does this is this is not even close to accurate to what this thing actually looks like. And this thing actually is beautiful. Now let me also be very clear about this. This is the one Bumblebee figure that I will I actively actively went out and looked for, and I never and I didn't even find this guy. In fact, this 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 dude here, this is all thanks to um, one of our good friends now, um, who's also a new good a new good friend of the of this channel, um, Optination Reviews. Um, he and I went. He and I conducted a small trade, and this guy was part of it. So once again, thanks, mate. I cannot thank you enough for you know supplying me up with these figures and. I really hope you get, you know, get what you're after out of that trade that we did. I'm not going to disclose what I traded you, but I'm sure if you guys do subscribe to his channel, you guys will see what I did trade for him or trade to him for these. So now to remove this packaging and get that out of the way, I'm going to bring the figure back in and we're going to bring in all his accessories, which are pretty much his accessories from the last two movies. Um, and pretty much the accessories have been consistent from... Uh, from the Bumblebee movie all the way up until now. I mean, seriously, this is genuinely the gun that they gave Cliff Jumper for, or for Cybertronian mode Cliff Jumper. This is the gun that they gave for Nest Bumblebee, for the Jeep Bumblebee, for all of that. So this this gun and this blade here, uh, it's not really that much of a massive difference. I'm probably gonna end up painting this silver. Um, they're not not the whole thing, but the blade silver. I'm, that's what I'll probably end up doing, but. It, 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 you know, these, these two weapons, they're just basic, you know, mass re-release of these, these pieces specifically, and they do store in the, on the vehicle mode, um, in the vehicle mode, this blade here, um, you got a nice little peg, peg there, and a nice slot there, so you can take that, and we just push it all on up in there so that way it just folds in like that now on the back here this is where things are going to get a little more interesting so you see this there's, there's this tiny little indent right there and there's this uh there's this clip here and you're going to take the gun and you're going to clip it into that little indent in the back there so that way it all holds together nicely so it all like i said it all does store in vehicle mode um and it all is just there um, the only one that I do have in vehicle mode that also is slightly in vehicle mode um, is going to be quite, quite possibly the next review. Um, so here he, he is next to Terracon Friends, I mean Freezer. Um, yeah, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, Rise of the Beast copied a lot of few, a lot of things, but I think Freezer was probably the most copied thing, copy and paste thing that they could have done, so... Anywho, here he is with Freezer, uh, Core Class Freezer to be specifically, although this would probably pass for a Deluxe if you really wanted to extend it, but um, this is him in his handgun mode for Leader Class Studio Series Scourge, which I still have yet to get a hold of. I'm trying my hardest. I'm just trying. It's not happening. It's not happened just yet, 
but we're working on it. So, but anyways, uh, so there's that. And then uh, if you want to, here he is next to our old buddy, Mainline Voyager Prime. This time I've added some customization details to it, so that way it actually looks a little bit better, at least to my personal eye. So, anyways, let me let him off to the side. Run with freezer. So, now to get into the transformation. Now the transformation is pretty basic. Um, it's pretty much just all of the two, all of the bumblebee molds. Only this is a lot. Only the only ma massive thing with this figure that is different is the legs, and with that being said, I'm going to show that to you guys with this transformation. So, start the transformation off. You're going to want to come to the door and pop it open. Do the same thing on the other side. Pop it open. Bring that down, as in what will become his legs. Um, so we're going to then untab the arms. These just kind of loosely fit right there. I mean, and also. Once again, Hasbro, something that bothers me is you guys could have seriously done a better job at hiding this. Really, you had all of this stuff here, but you couldn't stuff hide that, really. I mean, come on. So, bring these legs, leg pieces down. Then we're going to bring the arms all the way down, just to kind of get them out of the way. And then we're going to work on the legs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to split them completely. And then we're going to flip down what will become the toe, rotate it here at the back, and then right here with this bumper section slash tail piece section, we're going to just rotate that down like so. And then we're going to take this back section of the leg and we're just going to close up that cavity right there. So it should look something like this if you have everything all done correct, at least with both legs, or with one leg, excuse me. So do the same thing on the other side, pull down the foot. I'm gonna flip this in first, do a little out of, out of order, make sure everything is all stabilized. Done that, done that, and then there we go. And there you have the legs pretty much all 100% done. Now we're going to work on the upper pot, upper body, and we're going to finish this thing out. So now we're going to come to the wheels and we're going to bring them down as every typical bumble. Now we're now we're pretty much on the thing that every bumblebee mold has. So we're going to bring these down. Then we're going to swing the arms out just out like that. We're not going to bring them all the way up. Then we're going to bring this, we're going to literally, well, not bring it down, but we're going to undo this top section here. Then we can bring the chest down. But before we bring it all the way, or before we bring all of this all the way back, you're going to fold up the roof, and you're going to then fold up the windshield. And then, if I can get this in properly, like after you've tabbed in the chest now, then you're going to take the all of this and just kind of fold it all up in there so that way it just kind of it, it's a really funky looking thing um before we do that though uh, just to get this out of the way we're going to bring this up until it clips into place like so or thoops into place either one but this is how you pretty much want that whole this whole thing to look on the inside of this so then lower the arms thoop it up bring it all the way down and then we're going to straighten out the legs, straighten out the feet. And there you have Rise of the Beast's Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now, oh wait, 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 before we, before I forget, we're going to take these Camaro headlight pieces and we're going to angle them inward. I forgot about that before I forget, just before I forget. So do that. And there you have Rise of the Beast's Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now... I dig this robot mode, and I dig this figure a lot, and the two biggest reasons that I bought this figure were for the fact that, A, it is, this is essentially Bumblebee 2, uh, Rise of the Beasts, and don't, and you do not need to quote me on that, you can quote Stephen Capel Jr. on that, he's, you know, the director of Rise of the Beasts, this is essentially Bumblebee 2, and when I saw that this was going to be essentially Bumblebee 2, I knew they were going to do the Camaro, but I knew it was not going to be the same. I knew for a fact it was not going to be the same, and I knew they were going to fix it. 
And I'm going to be honest, I was not the biggest fan of the 2007 movie Camaro and the 2007 Junker Bumblebee. I I wasn't a massive fan of those ones. I was like, oh, hey, we're getting yet another Bumblebee. We're getting yet another one, yet another one, yet another one. Every single wave of studio series, it seemed like we were getting another Bumblebee. And the only reason why this one stuck out was because... This is the first time that this mold will be will have been seen. Like for example, when I say that, it's like this is the first time that this like the off-road version of this Camaro has been used. This is the first time that it's, you know, actually being looked at like a genuine Bumblebee figure. And if you were going to do um bu- you know, Bumblebee's Camaro version from the end of the Bumblebee movie, this is pretty much what the robot mode would look like. In fact, this is if I in fact, if I even stand these two together, they look like they genuinely just came back from doing their doing the thing at the end of Bum, of the Bumblebee movie. Um to which by the way, if you haven't seen that, you need to go watch it because if you haven't, what the hell are you doing? Literally, what the hell are you doing? Go watch it. Go watch it now. Should be on Paramount Plus or Amazon Prime, either one. Check either one. Can't tell you. Or if you really, really want to, go to the go to Walmart and go find it in the five dollar bargain bin. Not that big of a deal. Anyways, my point being is that this is what Bumblebee really look. This is what I want. This is what I expected to see with the original two thousand seven Bumblebee. Now let's get a close up in on that head sculpt here. And remember when I said that his eyes were not green; they were blue. Yeah, read them and weep. They're like turquoise people. And look at the look at that head sculpt, man. That head sculpt is just beautiful. But let's also not take a look at just the head sculpt. Let's take a look at the arms. I'm loving the silver paint. I love the fact that they actually painted the arms silver and the hands. Oh my goodness. I'm also just enjoying the fact that they didn't leave all of this blank. Uh, the only spot that I do see that they did leave blank would be the, his chest section. But once again, or not his chest sep- section, his abdomen section. And once again, that can all be, you know, fixed with just a little bit of silver paint. It's not that big of a deal. But the rest of it is just beautiful. There's no notes. I got no, I got nothing for um, any of this stuff. And it's not like you're going to be, you know, fiddling with this thing. It's not like you're going to be fiddling with all of it. I mean, literally every Transformer figure, like an FYI, you're going to, you're about to see some behind the scenes stuff that you're really not meant to see. But here, here we go. This is, this is this. Okay. This is, this is the review station. And this is what people do with their collections. They put it in cases, they display it. So it really pains me when people are fiddling with their stuff on camera or not fiddling with their stuff but they're fiddling with their with their figures on camera and they're saying just a few things about the articulation when in reality this figure is most likely going to sit in a case this figure on the other hand is what's probably going to get thrown around by the kids however this is bumblebee And everybody looks at Bumblebee and goes, oh, well, this is Bumblebee. I'll just get my kid another Bumblebee figure. They get the kid a Bumblebee figure. And then this, this Bumblebee, this specific type of Bumblebee ends up going into the bargain bin or ends up going into the thrift stores. At the worst case scenario, I see these things at thrift stores that are so busted and broken. Not particularly this model of Bumblebee. But I see them all the time, and they're just, it, it pains me to see the studio series are the ones that are getting the worst treatment when the mainline figures are the ones that really need it. The mainline ones are the ones that need the worst treatment, then, and the studio series need the best out of it. But, anyways, so to put, to add to perspective, you can put his weapons on him in robot mode. Um, he has two pegs on both of his arms, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you got one side here, and you got one side here, but... If I'm not mistaken, he only shows it in one of one side of him in the movie, which is that side. And there you have the blade on there, active. You know, about to about to cut some shit down. Um, and then you're going to take this, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to just push that right on in there. And so now you have Bumblebee all armed up and ready to go. Uh, one thing I do really wish that they could have done with this figure is that they could have given it the actual Bumblebee mask treatment from the Bumblebee movie, but other than that, there's nothing else, nothing else I can really say on it. 
Um, so in scale for comparison, here he is with mainline Voyager Prime. Um, customized, of course. So. And for a scale comparison, here he is with his teammate mainline wheeljack. Here's mainline wheeljack. I think that scales horribly if you ask me. So bring him off to the side. Here he is with core class RC. And just because here he is with Maximal Cheetor. Which that scale actually works. So there you have that. Now I suppose we can get all the Autobots in here for a family photo. Uh, there are two missing. There are two missing for these. But um, here's Prime. There's RC. And here's Wheeljack. Come on, come on. You know you want to stand up. There you go. Here we have a nice family photo going on here. I think we need to have Prime back here a little bit more. And you can stay there. Anyways, I think it's a very nice family photo that we got going on here. Uh, we're only missing two other Autobots for the for the Autobot family portrait here. Uh, that be those Autobots being Stratosphere and Mirage. So um, yeah, be definitely on the lookout for those two reviews eventually when they come. And um, so then on top of that, as soon as we're done with this one, we've got obviously we've got the new we've got the other Terracons going on here. We've got Freezer, and then we're going to be working on the next one, which is going to be Maximal Air Razor. And uh, I, just to just to prove to you, I've already got the packaging right here, just for fun. But we're gonna get so we're starting on the Maxim we're starting on the movie Maximal family, and we're starting on the uh, starting on the new guy team family things that we're going on here with the Terracons, so, anywho, this is Thomas Final One saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content, don't forget to leave a like on this video, don't forget to subscribe to Optination Reviews, Patrick with a Y, uh, Jordy's Rail Fan Productions, Memphis Rail P Fan Productions, and all, uh, all Take Along Productions as well as iStar552, and this is Thomas Final One saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content, don't forget to do all the things I said previously, and don't forget to keep playing with your toys, goodbye.